Hey there everybody, welcome back to Freeway's Interchange Design for Autonomous Vehicles. In the last episode, we made some progress, did about five levels or so of this little game. If you guys missed the first episode, I highly suggest you check it out. It's a neat little puzzle game, um, sort of like designing road interchanges, trying to get them to be the most efficient, that sort of thing. Um, check out the first episode if you missed it, really great episode. But yeah, thanks so much for the support on that video, by the way. Um, that video did really well, so thank you guys so much for watching that one. But we're back. Um, probably not going to do too many more episodes of this. I don't really know how many episodes I'm going to do. Um, but I might just start doing this on live streams, because I feel like this would be a good game to live stream. Don't really know yet, but let's go ahead and get started with our next level here. So it seems we've got a little pond in the middle. Uh, so we got some obstacles, finally, we have to deal with. So, um, yeah, so... Standard amount of traffic in each direction. What we're going to do is we're going to connect these two and that. Hmm. This could get interesting. So we're going to build a bridge. Just like that. So I'm thinking for this, we're going to do a Y interchange type thing. We're going to have this split off, and any traffic that wants to go that way can go that way, and any traffic that wants to go that way can go, like, that way. And um, so we're going to have, like, a Y there, and then Y for each one of these. So uh, <laughs> this could be interesting, but I think we, we'll get this to work. So all that traffic's flowing fine. Uh, we're going to go like this. Also, I figured out that problem where I couldn't get the roads to snap together, and that's just because I wasn't letting go of the mouse button, so that shouldn't be a problem anymore. We should actually have proper road connections now. Just a, a little bit of me being silly. So we're gonna have a, a ramp that goes out like there, and um, actually, you know what? Let's connect to this first. So that's now connected. It's an iffy little road, but that's okay. Um, and that will go out Oh dear, that merge is going to be interesting. Okay, we're going to go like this. So yeah, not quite sure what I'm going to do about that merge. I didn't think that would be such a big problem, but I guess it'll be okay. So we got that ramp going out like there. This is just going to connect right there. And our last connection is to get a road coming out from here, going into there. And I'm wondering if I can do something crazy like this. There we go, so the network is complete, let's see. That was super crazy, but I think it worked out. <laughs> Wow, okay. Alright, so that level's sort of done. Not my best work, but that's okay. Okay, so we have moved on to the next level here. And an interesting thing about this level is actually that you cannot build bridges on this particular level. So that makes things kind of interesting. It means we're going to have to go for a roundabout design rather than uh, just building direct connection ramps. So this could be interesting, but let's go ahead and build a nice big wide roundabout here. Like so. And then we'll connect all of these different highways to the roundabout. Uh, now an interesting thing about the traffic flow on this is that all the traffic appears to be going to the right of the connection. So... What that means is we're going to build direct connection ramps to the right of each roundabout, that sort of thing. Um, so I think we'll be able to get this going. So that connects in like that, that there. So a direct connection into that ramp, like so. So the, those cars can go like that, and the rest can flow on into there. Doesn't seem to go. Doesn't seem to be going too slow so far. Hmm. Okay, so we got that in. I'm gonna have a nice direct connection there, and we're gonna have a direct connection going around here into there. 
So any cars going from this will just go down there and they'll skip the roundabout altogether. And any cars going there are going to go straight into there. And we can build one more. There we go. Now we're complete. Let's see how well it does. Three forty-three. Hmm. Not our best work. That's a little frustrating. Um. Okay. Well, I will try and see if I can improve this at all off camera. But let's go ahead and move on to our next level. So we've got direct connections for these guys. Even amount. Of, ooh. Okay. I was gonna say even amount, but apparently not. Um. So it seems like. Whoops. Everywhere. Hmm. Alright, so we'll connect these highways up, and I'm thinking either a cloverleaf, or we could try a dumbbell interchange on this. In order to connect these up, but that would be a lot of roundabouts and stuff, so... Um, hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna do a typical cloverleaf, and we'll connect that up to the cloverleaves, I think. You know what? No, let's give a dumbbell a shot. You know what? Let, let's try it. So we're going to do roundabout there and a roundabout there. And then connect all of these up. And then we'll connect these two together. We'll give this a try. See if it maybe doesn't work or not. There we go. So we got bridges going over each side, like so. And now we just gotta connect everything up. And I'm really. These circles are so small. Um, I'm hoping that connected correctly. I think, yeah, it did. We got two different color cars going out. Perfect, and we'll make a direct connection there so they can skip the roundabout if they need to. Um, still need to connect this up, though. Like that. And once again, direct connection so they can skip the roundabout if they need to. And then we'll do sort of like a cloverleaf... Um, Inspired intersection here, I think. Perfect. It seems to be flowing pretty well so far. Bringing on in my final ramp here. And that's our network complete. Let's see how this does. Total efficiency is 405. Not bad. All right, cool. So we got that all together. That's three interchanges so far. Let's go ahead and do one more for today's episode, I think. And um, <laughs> at least we can build bridges on these because that first one was pretty, or second one was pretty tough. So we're gonna do a ramp there, a ramp there. Like that. I hate it when these like cross over like that, going from right hand to left hand driving traffic, but that's okay. Um, we need connections into both of those. Interesting. Okay. No idea what kind of interchange I'm doing here. I think I'm just doing a bunch of direct connections. We'll see if this works. Kind of doubt it'll work, but that's okay. So that's connected. That's going to flow out there. I mean, you have all your connections. You still need connections, though. Which means I can just connect you to there. What could possibly be missing? That. Now we're complete. Let's see how it does. And that did not work. It's 148. Well, we sort of did it. <laughs> Traffic flow is 18 kilometers per hour. You know what, guys? I say we should just leave it like that. <laughs>
I'll, I'll be completely honest. We'll just leave it like that for now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Freeways. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. But that was pretty bad. But you know what? I'm really impressed with this. This came out really nice. And it seems to be flowing pretty darn well. We got efficiency of 405 on this one. First time building one of those dumbbell interchanges. So that was kind of cool. Um, I tried making one of these on City Skylines once, but that did, did it did not work. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching though, today's episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought about the interchanges I built down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe before you go. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll catch you guys in the next episode here of Freeways.